Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. To any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe, any generation Hyundai Santa Fe, you have engine light on and any of the following codes such as code P0520, P0521, 522 or 523. Any of these four codes guys, then we just will explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it guys. Now, and that should work on any generation Hyundai Santa Fe from year 2000 to year 2021 currently guys. You don't need to remove your engine in most cases to fix that code but we have it out due to the fact guys that we'll be making tons of videos that can save you potentially thousands of dollars. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick guys. If you need to buy any parts or tools for your car check out the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get them for for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Number two every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so with that being said let's explain what can easily cause these codes we have the intake manifold removed okay that's the intake manifold uh, we will explain why some models may differ guys okay this specifically should uh, be identical to models 2013 to models 2017 but the concept to fixing these codes will be very similar now many of you guys constantly ask me in the comment section below to actually share guys which uh, diagnostic tool we like the most this is it guys okay right here this is one of the best tools that we we use on daily basis it's amazing too Hyundai okay it's right here it works on any car you can think of it's an all system scanner that can pay itself off in one time use check out the link guys if you need more information about it so we didn't take manifold removed why we have it removed guys you can see right here underneath we have the engine oil filter okay that's the engine oil filter and the oil filter housing. On the oil filter housing, guys, look for an oil pressure sensor, okay? And there is no oil pressure sensor. If you look up, okay, right here on the engine box, that's where the oil pressure sensor is located, guys, okay? This device, okay, right there. This is oil pressure sensor or oil pressure switch. The purpose of that thing is, guys, to determine if you have enough oil pressure for the engine to normally operate. Now, without that sensor, okay, a few things can happen. You can have red engine, engine uh, red oil light that will come on, okay, if it's not working correctly, or you may get, guys, these codes, anything from P0520 to 523. Now, what can cause, guys, okay, these codes? If you look at it, guys, okay, that's the oil pressure sensor. You need to make sure that it's plugged in correctly, okay? Make sure that it's all the way in, make sure that it's not loose or anything like that, it's not contaminated, okay? That's one thing. It, in some cases, you may have two connectors, one here on the sensor, and if I follow this wire, it goes to that connector that's installed on the intake manifold, and here, almost the line broke, the, the wire broke, guys. So, you have to be careful to make sure you don't have a broken wire. If you have a broken wire or disconnected sensor, you can easily get these codes. Another thing that can cause it is a faulty sensor itself, guys. A faulty sensor, okay, can easily cause that. Okay, if it's not working correctly, you will get, okay, these codes, uh, such as 5, uh, 520 to 523, because it will be not working correctly and the engine computer will detect that. Those are the two most common things that we see that will cause any of these codes, guys. Now, if you have problems with your oil pump, not building enough pressure and stuff like that, usually you will get code 524 and we have a special video how to replace oil pump as well that will be uh, that will be guys on the channel hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time